Hi, this is Trevor and welcome to my blog. Welcome to another exciting episode of Tips and Tricks. This time round, complete lower half door skin. I'm going to show you guys some tips and tricks I hope you haven't seen before. And um, they're going to help you get it right every time. Okay, so I've got a few clips here all edited together for you guys to watch. I'm going to have to give you a voiceover over the top. So... Run VT road. Yeah. So we got a door with a rusted out door bottom and this video really isn't about repairing a door section. It's all about using templates to repair sections in panels. Uh, that's really the real point of this video, so what I've done is I've made this template at the, screwed to the bottom of this door. What I've done is I've ground the template so that it's absolutely flush with the existing panel. Now I say existing panel, emphasize the existing because um, the worst thing you can do I think when you're going about repairing rusty panel work is just to chop the old panels out and then make up a section and then weld it in and of course things just don't fit flush do they so i've just peeled the old existing door skin off just to show you the amount of rust buildup that you'll get on the insides of panels because a panel may just have a few little spots on the outside showing uh, but cars do rot from the inside out and you'd be amazed how much rust's going on under the surface. You really have got to get those outer panels cut off uh, to remove the rust. You can't remove it from the outside. So this is just showing you the frame. Although this frame does look quite rusty, it is in fact not in too bad condition really so this means that I haven't got to make up a new inner lower door frame so I've got a sh new sheet of metal I'm using the template now also using it as a template to mark out the metal so it doubles up in its purpose this is a neat trick i'm going to show you next using washers different types of washers to mark out where the outer lip goes so that you get an exact replica of the inner to the outer no guesswork needed with this with this technique so you get a different washer just make sure that the washer width has the same distance between the hole in the center and the outer part of the washer as your lip had originally and then you just put a sharpie in the middle and draw along it like you can see now it goes round curves as well so um, bit hard doing it one-handed holding the camera in one hand and the sharpie with the other but yeah I think you get the idea there so then I just cut it out to the outer line and then the inner line I use as my folded edge so I've used um, a folding machine to fold up the lower edge before the curve so I stopped short of the curve And the curved section is put in using a wheeling machine. Uh, sorry, not a wheeling machine, a bead roller. So, yeah, our bead roller is used to make the curved section. There's the bead roller. And then I've used a panel hammer and dolly to tap the edge up so that it's at a 90 degree angle all the way around and a nice crisp edge as well. course double check in now our new panel with our template to make sure that we've got 
a nice accurate shape to the new panel any adjustments could be made at this stage rather than adjustments made once it's been fitted to the door so this is the door offering up the new repair section and it fits like a glove with this held in position of course I can use the template again to double check before I start welding the door on then I can I can then uh, put a few tacks in double check it again and I can fully weld it planish it over double check it again knowing that when I offer that door up to the car there's a very very good chance that it's going to fit very very well as opposed to just chopping the uh, existing door bottom off throwing it away and, and then thinking about how I'm going to make up the door and whether it's going to fit or not I'm just showing you the juggled edge there along the bottom of the existing skin some door some door lower door skins are particularly weak in this area and they benefit from a juggled fitment rather than a butt, butt joint so we're looking at a rear lamp panel here on another car, rear lamp to quarter panel repair. And um, of course, as usual, the most intricate part of the panel has gone rusty. I need to create a repair section for this panel. I don't cut the panel off again. I emphasize this, the panel's not cut off first. I make my templates first, then the templates are made uh, to fit the panel. Then I use these templates to mark out my metal, I make the panel and then I offer the panel up over the top of the existing panel because I can use the existing car as a buck to make sure everything fits really really well before I then cut it out and then finally weld in the new panel. That's just showing you how badly rusted out the old panel was. And we got that lovely fresh tin ready to go in all the rest you can see it's all been cut out and there we go there's the finished article I hope you enjoyed that, thanks very much for watching. Next time round, I'm gonna show you a captive nut repair. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do next, captive nut repair. And uh, hopefully it's gonna be a little bit more interesting than it sounds. Bye for now.
Champion! 